right, so. I think what my problem, the original reason I took this apart was, I thought my shift keys, which are in here, the slide, system, there we go, is in here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get all this out and replace them. But I thought they were going. Um. <clears throat> but I wonder if they're not in due to the fact that I had that frame damage. Everything in here is good. I'm not really sure if I can shift this. I can shift this by hand or not. I don't know. never been into transmission kind of like this so <clears throat> I don't know apparently a lot of people take these and they weld this diff and they make them into like go-karts This oil doesn't look great, so I will change that at least. And I think I'm going to try to weld the frame, maybe put a piece of plate steel on there, weld it in place, and see if I can get it to, to work. If not, then I'm just going to chalk this mower, I don't know, up to maybe garbage. And the engine's good, sell the engine whatever so i'm gonna keep digging into this see if i can find anything all right so something you got to watch out for um <clears throat> there's a ball bearing in there so make sure you don't lose that as well as a spring and this is how far yeah i've gotten so i'm just kind of Taking it apart, I want to see if I can get into these shift keys, and I don't want to lose track of anything. So, I'm just going to stack these. I will take them off if I can. And that, I mean, that doesn't look too worn as far as those edges aren't, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but. All right, so here we go. Just kind of 
keeping everything in order. I don't know, that doesn't look. Transmission might be all right, and it might just be. <clears throat> so, so, yeah, there's how it slides. I'm not sure exactly how to get them out. Oh. That wasn't too difficult. So I'm not sure exactly what they're supposed to look like. I mean, you can see there's wear, but it's not like, I don't know how sharp they're supposed to be or how strong they're supposed to be. Well, I'm in here, so I mean, it's like $15. I guess I'll probably just get new ones and see if I can get that frame welded. Try to do something like that. <clears throat> All right, well, that's it so far. So just to give you an idea of what, how to get these out of here, you can pinch them and pull them past this and it slides out. And that's it. Like I should said, I'm not sure what a sh worn out shift key should look like. <clears throat> kind of can see there's some wear. Some wear right there. I don't know if that's enough to uh, really screw it up or not, but that's all I'm seeing. So I think I'm going to order a pack of these since I got it apart. Oil. All right. Just wanted to add that in there. So we'll see how it goes. I got to clean all this RTV off here and get all this cleaned up. All right, so we're like two weeks later, and I got shift keys, new, hopefully they're the right ones. Oops, brakes, uh, those bolts that jacked up, got those. Let's take a quick look at this. So I had a sp split in, my, in the frame back here, a crack right there at this bolt. So I JB weld, oh, there's some right there. Just did it. JB welded underneath, and then I put this quarter inch plate steel on there. And I'm hoping that's gonna work. If it doesn't, if I can't get this frame stuff ironed out, like I said, this thing was cheap. I'm just going to sell the engine and deck and whatever anybody else wants to buy and make my money back <clears throat> and get something else. So um, new belt. That'll all go on when the deck goes on. It's 
been two weeks. Like I said, hopefully I remember how to put this thing back together. So we're going to do, take a look at the shift keys right here. Um, this should pop out of here. There we go. And because I got these new ones, and see if they're the same piece. Hopefully, it is. And to me, that doesn't look too much different than what I got out of there. So now they are pretty rigid, but I don't know. I don't know if the shift keys were the problem or if it was that frame. Um, gear oil, I'm going to replace that whole thing right down here. Yeah, so let's dig into this. If I remember correctly, I think I can actually do this easier in an easier manner. So I took off, what that is, I took all these off in the last part that you saw. But this comes off, beautiful. And then the shift keys will slide out of this, like that. So you don't have to take any of this apart. So I guess we can, how do I just set this down? And I don't think there's anything that says light, right or left or so that looks like the right part. Um, if we get a good look at the Face on these. Sorry, now my lighting is not super. I don't know. To me, the new one doesn't look much different than the old one. So I don't know if that was the problem or if it was just the um, that frame flexing. Giving me that weird stuff, but they're 15 bucks and now I got new ones. So yeah, look right to me, I guess. So let's go ahead and I can really throw this on there and that's the old stuff, but it's not going to matter. There's probably a better way to do this, and there's probably some mechanic maybe watching this laughing at me. But, uh, yeah, definitely laughing at me now.
go. That should be it. Now I will say these definitely do feel stiffer. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, so this takes, if you're doing this, it takes a, bare, a fair amount of pressure to get it. That's neutral. Um, so they pretty much sit in that collar. This is reverse, that's first. First, yeah. So, um, this whole assembly needs to slide down a little bit. Oh, they're actually not in. There they are. There. So that's neutral. So, goes back on. Man, I am butterfingers like crazy. This goes back in here. Yeah. And I found that if you're putting this back together, when you go to put the two halves in, don't try to put this back in this upper half or lower. Well, lower. This is the lower half. Place it in here because you're going to want to line. That little trick is you got to make sure these these line up and sit in here perfectly. And you got to make sure this lines up and this lines up. But I'm going to uh, get that fluid out of there. So I'm happy I got new shift keys and I have no idea if that is actually the problem. But So I'm just going to set this aside. And I'm going to pause the video and you guys don't need to watch me change fluid because if you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be this deep into uh, <clears throat> any type of mechanical project, in my opinion. All right, so. <laughs> Good song, don't wanna miss it. All right, so this whole mower is not worth a whole lot to me. So um, I scraped off some of this RTV or whatever it was, but I'm just gonna load it up with some other stuff. You know, it's not, this isn't a head gasket or anything. So be all right. So pretty cool how this works. I mean, I like, you know, so this is first. So your drive is gonna come in and spin, spin this. And then let's see if I can get it. To, yeah, we'll say that this key is definitely tighter in here. Um, yeah, so this would be, this is like neutral. It's neutral right there. So then if I went into reverse, I can't. So that's first. Uh, there we go. So what happens is this, that's going to spin. Yeah, you know what, I think I don't know. That's right, we don't want that to happen. All my hard work cleaning that. Hmm. All right, well, that's it. I'm gonna clean it a little bit more and then 
some RTV on here, bolt it back together, put everything back together and see if it works because Alright, so this is pretty boring, but just to let you know what it did. Got this uh, gasket maker. I've used this before on cars and stuff, so it works pretty good. I just put a bead around here, the entire thing. If you end up buying this particular gasket maker, it says put a bead, clamp shell them together, and wait an hour after you hand tighten the bolts and then tighten after an hour, wait 24 hours for it to cure. So I just put that stuff on. Everything is in place as far as I can tell. Something else to note, this is for the spring and ball bearing that hold this, your shifter in place, kind of like a detent. Um, for me, at least with this particular one, if you take this out, you can drop them in after you put it back together. So you don't have to fight with trying to get it, get it in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, just to make sure I don't run out of applications. So, so you still get a, you know, a real positive clip over here. Go ahead and drop it in. Thread. There you go. Nice. All right. <clears throat> so I'm not going to hand thread all these bore you, but here are these triangularly cut. Come on, focus bolts that came out of it and I got two new ones. I did this one back here, I broke off. I did try to get it out with vice grips, it wouldn't come out, so I'll just have to deal with it. I loaded it up a little extra with RTV. Triangular cut, and these are made that they cut um, when they're assembling these in the factory. So what you wanna do, so you don't cut another pathway, is So you want to hand start them and turn them backwards. And you should hear a click. There it is. And then you want to thread. And you should be out of thread, I'd say five or six threads easily before they get tight. And I can still turn this with my hand. It is a little tight, but I still turn it with my hand. That way, you're not cutting another set of threads. There you go, there's that click. And then as you can see, hand thread for a while. Should have threw these in a can of Coke. Maybe I'll leave a couple of the worst ones out and do that, but hmm. 
to investigate that. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted the note on that triangular part and that you can drop this stuff in. You don't have to try to line it up before you put this second piece on. So new fluid, new shift keys, fresh RTV, uh, gasket maker, and yeah, I'll give it 24 hours and then I'm gonna put it all back together and see if it works. We'll see if I add this in or not, but um, just to get these hands started, something I found, just using like one of these for grip. Makes it much easier. There's that click. There's that click. Hear it? And you can feel it like you press down pretty good. It's pretty satisfying. All right, that's all.